So carry on, ready to start. The candidates also need to be completely sure they are becoming hypoxic before declaring an emergency. Kerry's training should give her an advantage in this test. 951. Kerry has done almost exactly this task before, so she should be very comfortable. Probably more than once. It's like probably a five year recurrency in the Air Force or something like that. 944. One minute in, Kerry is still on normal air. Oxygen failure, oxygen failure, oxygen failure. Thank you, Kerry. She doesn't know it, but she called an emergency before her oxygen was switched off. Welcome back. Hi. How's it going? So for Kerry, she called symptoms even though her blood oxygen never dropped below 100%. So it's in intriguing to think what the mission impact of that would have been. Are you still feeling the effects? Yeah, I can still feel a kind of little bit. Uh, like... Oh, I'm glad you said that, because I thought that when I came in here, and I thought I was maybe just imagining it. No, no, you like, feel a little bit disorientated, <laughs> yeah. maybe. Still a little bit kind of like, oh, what's yeah, going on? Okay. Kerry isn't the only one to call an emergency incorrectly. 965. 900, and... OK, my memory's going, and I'm slightly blurred. 9, 2, 1. So it's interesting, isn't it? This bar rate's very high. Oxygen failure, oxygen failure, oxygen failure. Oxygen failure, oxygen failure, oxygen failure. Such a bizarre experience. I was putting myself voluntarily in a situation of low oxygen, which, you know, which will eventually kill me. He was, in fact, on 100% oxygen when he declared that he was hypoxic. I was very much looking at, oh, I'm really feeling it now, actually. It's a bit of a head rush coming up now. I think I recognised my symptoms within myself quite fast. I don't know how actually I did, because that was my perception of how I did, because I was obviously hypoxic. She immediately called it with symptoms, even though her blood saturation never, never bounced below 100. I think this really scared her. The panel has asked to speak to the candidates who performed worst in the test. So I, I specifically wanted to talk to the four of you about uh, what we saw. What may surprise you is that three of you declared yourselves hypoxic at 100% oxygen saturation. And one of you went all the way down to 51% of where your oxygen should have been before the test got called off. And neither of those were what we want to see. On one side, three of you would have quit a spacewalk early. And for James, you would have taken a spacewalk maybe to the point of almost unconsciousness. Hello. 